on to help Scarva. Ah, and this is the attack on Scarva, which we don't want to miss. <laughs> we do want to miss. Harry. Uh, miss, miss. 55. Just looking at their skill on that one. Okay, so... With a 50 to hit, misses you. And you are parrying, so go ahead and roll with it. Because you might have a chance to damage the weapon. Nah. Okay, that's too bad. Was that? <laughs> okay, so not a fumble either. Close though. With a 50. Okay. That's what it's better at parrying than at <laughs> doing damage. Mm hmm. No. Yeah, well, that's not that bad a thing. No, no it's not. Okay, so uh, that puts us at everybody's next move. Is my axe uh, stuck in that thing's back? Yes, it is. Okay, so... But um, you have several. Yeah, yeah, I know. I was just thinking if I had to pick it up when on the way is there. everybody... Or... Who's going first? Well, that's what we need to know. I need to know what everybody's actions are. I, 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 I keep on this way I'm trying to okay. drop it. I threw the axe and... and... Now you're moving up. Okay. Yeah. And the other axe is already ready. You, have, you can use both hands. I figure if you had one in each hand. So yeah. therefore, I'm going to put your strike here. You, all you have to do is move and get there and you'll be fine. Wait, that'll be six. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And then, Zord? Let's... Well, it seems to be going fine with using yeah. one and a half. It's yeah. uh -huh. the strange amount of arms I have. So let's keep doing that. Um, well, he's, he's done. Yeah, and uh, head for Scarva to help okay. her with his segments. Okay, okay. Coming in here. Okay. And then Scava. I keep the sword so that base damage is 4 plus 2 for the sword is mm -hmm. 6 minus 1. Just wondering when I hit again the next time I... And yeah. we are fourth round, right? Mm -hmm. So it's still working, yes. Oh yeah. So five. Well, wait, no. A round is all twelve. Or, uh -huh, okay. So you got lots of time. Don't okay. worry about that. Yeah, that's one When I hit him the second time, pierced him. Jala, by the way, during she basically has thrown herself out of the the combat to keep herself from. Yeah. She's basically well, keeping the distance. Yeah. Uh, yes, well, when I pierced him the second time, now did any of those weird vibrations happen again? Was that just a one-time thing? Um. Good question. Good question. Roll percentage. Uh, let's see, a percentage... 85. Nope, no luck. Okay. You're trying to use your power to overcome their power. Okay. And even though his power just dropped, which is good for this purpose, yep. you only have a 9 power, so yeah. you're going to need a little... Okay, so, now... Is this something I can do now? Oh dear. Very confusing. Okay. So now, uh, let's have a... Um, where was I? I need to. Him? I need to figure out. He had attacked you, um, and then I'm just checking his strike rank as well. Okay, and he'll be attacking again here. So uh, Zort hit. So really, if we just move our way all the way along, we're already up to Scava's and Urko's attacks. You want to go first? Sure. Twenty-four. You roll two. Roll hit location. 36. Roll hit location. 10. Oh, you really hit yeah. 17. Okay. <laughs> Which is uh, a left arm. So roll, roll your damage. That's D8 for you. Oh, two. 3 okay. plus 1, 4. Okay. My damage isn't good this. No, no, you guys aren't really doing... You guys do a wonderful job of hitting. It's all very dramatic. Come on. This is for but, the first yeah. time something that may hurt anybody. Mm -hmm. And for... so, well, you're, you're chopping away at him. And it's just you're doing very minimal damage as you go. They're heavily armed. I do damage so, with yeah. a sword. Yeah. Oh. So, um... At least he hits. 26. He doesn't. He's just going after you, and it's just not working. Woo! Coming in from the side. Mr. Mr. Awful over here. <laughs> well, I am in between having as many arms as they do, and other right. things do, right. so... That's a four. And your base chance to hit is? 70. 70, so that's going to be a 3.5%. Wait. Actually, it's an impale. 
Oh dear. So I want you to uh, roll. What's your maximum damage you could do? Uh, maximum damage is twelve. Let's see, I seventeen. And what is your? Where did your hit location go? Do we know? Fifteen. Okay, so that's going to be one of his arms. So go ahead and roll. Okay. Oh, well. that's not a good damage, but that's... that's okay. Uh, 17 plus that's five total. Uh, that is, let's see, six. Uh, five, yeah, and six. So. Okay, that's 23 points of damage. Yep. Okay, so that, although it's, it's going to completely chop off that arm, but more importantly, it's going to bring enough hit points down so his total hit points are now finally gone. You guys have chipped away at all of his hit points through all these different hits. The first two actually kind of halved him. And then after that, just chipping away. And then finally you come up and just chop that arm off. And you hit an artery or something and all this goose spurts out. And Ooh. Falls over. So. Well. That works. I walk over and recover my arrows. Good idea. I'm thinking I'm gonna heal up my arm again. Right. Good I'm enough. Again, <laughs> because this is the same one that got that got right. the I, mm-hmm. I think. Mm-hmm. And the time before that. Yeah. How many it's, water bowls do I have? So I'm gonna have to spend two. I was thinking about that good. <laughs> oh, I see. You're trying to get some some. Uh, yeah. Some so, bug blood. Yeah. You go right. You go right ahead. Thank but you. I go get you X too. I bring it I to you. I will notice it on my bug blood. Very interesting. Bug blood. Why do we want bug blood? Well, Jala is actually going to do something a little strange. You can stop her if you want to. Okay. She goes over to the one who's barely alive. That you the first the, okay. the first one you took down. Yep. Goes over and performs is performing a healing spell. And she says, run. I'm fine with her doing that, and I'm certainly going to run. Okay. I'm somewhat confused. Why is Jan also running after that, or you can't we'll never know? Maybe. Jan, yeah, no, 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 no. You're coming with us too. You're not she staying. Says, I will, but we have to leave here, friends. She's right. Come on. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Out of here. Right. Yeah. So she's going to heal it and make an attempt with her charisma. Not bad. She's got not that bad of charisma. She's got a, four, a 14, so she needed a 70. Rolls a 67. Nice. So she actually convinces it that, you know, okay, we fought the good fight. I healed you. She had to use Xeno healing, not healing. Right. Yep. And, uh, and, and uh, fought the good fight. You know, I healed you. Friends. Right. So... Then gets out. Or at the very least, temporary ceasefire. Yeah. The idea being that this is the best way she can actually communicate. Listen, we really were okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, good. All right. Um, And so as you, you proceed out into forest, which is unfamiliar to you, but it's your right kind of environment. That's a forest. Yeah. We'll keep going for a while. Yeah. Where we're going, Scava? Just for a little while. Somewhere where it's peaceful. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Finding a place where it's okay to camp is not too Yeah. Yeah. Do that. And then finally rest, but uh, keep up the watch. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's see who improved in what. Mm, Yep. I uh, hit with Mm. a rumpia. That's that's about it. Let's see. Yeah, I I threw my axes. That's. I think that's something I think. Okay, 70, I think. Let's see yeah. if you can roll over. And that confusion thing did not really work on that. I, I, I don't know how that works. Is that? You'll see. When the day it hits, it's going to be a good day for you. Yeah. Did you? Oh. That's good. That? Oh, good. Okay, so, your axe. Here, I'm going, to, I'm going to write it down. Oh, okay, thank for you. 10. Not good. Nope. So, for normal things, it has to go above what's already right. uh-huh. there, right? Yep. Okay, let's start with... Scan, I think, was the first one, right? Mm-hmm. Trying to orient yeah, myself. Yeah. 
Uh, that wasn't a scam. Actually. That was? That was just an intelligence roll. Okay, so it isn't. Mm. But there was a card roll. Mm -hmm. Should be able to get in the party. 85. Ooh, perfect. So, what is it? Kite lore. Uh huh. And that would make from 35 to what? Uh, well, I'm just going to write down the, the, the ups I and we can record know. it later. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, then it would be the sword and the bow, right? Mm -hmm. So I start with the bow. Mm -hmm. Which is like 75. No, it's, it's like 70. 70. It's okay. 70. See so how that goes. No. Nope. Okay. And the sword, maybe finally getting over fifty. Nope. Oh no! <laughs> How annoying. <laughs> Just keep hacking That's things no until no. that happens. Yeah. Not your way. I think I yeah. never. No, it's excellent. It's, no, no, it's just me and sword fighting. Yeah. It doesn't work. Well, Let's, there's a couple of things. Um, Sandra, you said that you actually came up with some background for Urko that you could share. Yes. Um, I was uh, thinking about the, the well centuries ago, very long time ago, that his uh, family was uh, travelers, very curious about uh, the surrounding and the, the world, and uh, that they met a lot of people along the way and uh, got taught a thing or two, but the thing that they valued the most was the, um, well, uh, writing and reading. Mm -hmm. So they uh, took notes of well, smaller and big things right. and uh, along the way and um, uh, eventually they taught uh, their kids uh, these things uh, so it's just a little piece about this and the others, mm -hmm. nothing huge and uh, eventually they kept this going and this uh, young man fell in love with uh, this uh, girl in uh, well within the temple where mm -hmm. Rip mm -hmm. is from and um, they had children and their children had children and so forth and eventually many centuries later Erko was born and oh and uh, when this man fell in love with this girl uh, these travelers they really um, uh, put value into mm -hmm. their books so they left them with him for safety mm -hmm. Uh, so uh, and it's been passed down through generations. Ah, mm -hmm. So yes. So there's actually a book of family lore. Yeah, I see. And okay. about things about the world. And, uh, yes. Ah, okay. I was thinking, and uh, about Urko's timeline, I was thinking uh, if uh, he and uh, Jala could be childhood friends. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I was just thinking that Erko might be a bit too adventurous, but he had this uh, friend that held him back a bit. Ah, right. Mm -hmm. And uh, that could be Jala. Right, right. Okay. If that's okay. No, that's fine. That makes perfectly good sense. Remember, she was glad when you yeah. to see you when you came back. Yeah. And so yeah. I kind of had the idea that you guys, I didn't have anything specific to impose into the story, but just that you did have friends at the temple and it was nice to come home. And yeah. for them to see you. So that works. Okay. So that's great. Um, now for the big question. Um, shall we keep going with this game? Do you want us to keep going with this game? Mm -hmm. I'm extremely curious. I would like to keep going. Okay. I don't have to. Uh, I mean, we don't have to play every week if it's too much for mm -hmm. you. Or anybody else. Um, but I would mm -hmm. very much like to learn more about the Right. Um, the, the, the fantasy world we are creating is just I getting mean, more like and more and more interesting I mean, as we just, go. It feels like we only started. I know. Yeah. But maybe not everybody's okay with that. Well, uh, I I'm, I, I'm, I'm I, really I'm into on this. Yeah, yeah, I'm on board. In, in that case, that's terrible of me to say otherwise. Basically, your your main story, which was that you were on Jovan's adventure, basically. Yep, Jovan is... And he's been eliminated. I'm his bodyguard. And, and I, you, guys have, you guys have to create a, I, I you mean, created a, a metaphysical <laughs> crisis. I mean, <laughs> we have a got on the loose who so probably isn't any no, good we have the information man. from right. that ghost yeah. that uh, yeah. chaos yeah. is the yeah. only thing right able to defend. and now and somebody's walking around with a huge dose of chaos uh, yeah. i'm right. not exactly sure that that was what the ghost meant but i would really like to find out mm -hmm. um 
Okay. I mean, basically, Scava, Scava is the only one that remembers anything right. about that. Right. Uh, although I don't. I remember three runes, but there were four, right? Right. Mm -hmm. uh, you will have to tell Purity the was the fourth one. Um, so they were infinity and uh, objectivity and purity and some other. Law. Law. Eternity yeah, law. Law was the form. Light, was, I yeah. remember. Right. And then it would be purity. The form. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I remember a little bit about uh, our first session. Mm -hmm. So I think, well, it has to be enough. Mm -hmm. So we've got plenty to work with. We can, so yep, we can uh, I, I yeah. think we can proceed. All right. All right. Well, I'll have to get some, do some creative thought about uh, Still squishy, but as long as she's around, yep. she may be. <laughs> and I, I get a feeling that Sword needs to kind of check in with his... Yeah, we we'll probably have to go back to that damn city if we find the place. Well, you have to figure out where you are first. Yeah, so yeah I said if we find the place. Right. Yeah. <laughs> if not that, any other city? Yeah, right. I have to check on things. I, I, I start talking to Yala. Both right. may be right. pretty useful. And then I, well, I think I a little conferencing and a little bit of orientation will. I'm still fighting for the point where Scammer realizes that nobody else is remembering anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true too. 